I'm Boo Carlisle. Welcome back to another uh, episode of Kicking Asphalt. Uh, we're getting loaded up, ready to head to the racetrack. Going to do a little practice in the day. Our original plans was to go to Tri-County Motor Speedway in Hudson, North Carolina. We got our two barrel on, so we was wanting to go try it out. Last time y'all was with us, we had some brake problems. So uh, we were going to go up there, just fill the track out, see what it was all about. But uh, with the gas shortage, we don't want to take that chance. Uh, I know a lot of people got different uh, views on that and whatnot. Facts is, uh, if we pull in a gas station, big white and little white don't have no gas, it ain't coming back to Georgia. So we're just gonna go up to the old faithful Greenville Picking Speedway, just an hour and 45 minutes from here. Here come Fred, he had to take a 10-200. Anybody that's seen Smokey and the Bandit know what that's all about. But uh, we're gonna go up to Greenville and uh, we got three objectives we want to uh, accomplish today. We're still having problems with radios, we're gonna get our radios fixed. We'll make sure our brake problems is fixed and we'll break this new two barrel carburetor in. So uh, we're gonna go on up there. We took the day off from work. So uh, hopefully traffic won't be as bad because uh, as usual, we're running a little late, but uh, y'all hold on, go with us. Hey Fred coming out here with our uh, two barrel, the adapter kit, put it on the four barrel intake. It's got a, it's a little bit higher. So uh, hood's jacked up. Fred said he gonna come up with an idea to keep it from blowing going down the interstate. We're gonna see how Fred's idea works. Think it worked, Fred? I got it. Uh, get an A for effort. Yep. Oh well. Off to 85 we go. There, Fred, neighbor going to work. We going to the racetrack. Yeah. Blessed fellas we are. Get pulled on get a, the Yeah, they better move. It ain't race day, but we'll we'll give them a bumping run. Reckon we gotta stop here, Fred, or is that a recommendation? Mm. Call it a recommendation and roll with it. Hit it on 85. Wish we could go to Anderson Speedway, see if we get a couple hours there this morning. But they got the sprint cars the next two nights. So uh, if you're in the upstate area, go check out Anderson Motor Speedway with the wing sprint cars Friday and Saturday night. We're going to get over there see if maybe we can't do something with uh, some of our buddies over there. But uh, y'all hang tight. We're going to roll 85 on 85 till we get to Greenville. Tyler, we got a smoker. Put it out. Put it out. Try to break, don't catch fire, ain't it, Fred? Made it to the Greenville easily exit in record time. Amazing how fast time you make when everybody's at work. <laughs> out of gas, out of gas. Find a little bit, we ain't, ain't got too much. What's your mama say? <laughs> out of gas. Pump number two, got the bags on all of them. Out of gas. Some got a winner, winner, Chick-fil-A dinner. We found a pump, didn't have a bag on it. $3 a gallon, but we found a pump. We got some go-go juice. We'll get it filled up. That way we know for sure we'll make it back home. We'll get on over to the racetrack. That's a real nice car, Guthrie and them guys. Alright, we made it to the Greenville Picking Speedway. Hopefully they already got the gate unlocked. We're running uh, about 40 minutes behind schedule. Y'all hold on, we're gonna bounce our way in here and get fixed up. Go ahead, get unloaded. Get those blocks. We'll just jack the trailer up, get it unloaded. All right, got unloaded here at Greenville Picking Speedway. Like I said, we got three uh, projects we want to get accomplished today. We want to make sure our carburetor is acting good so when we go to North Carolina, get all the bugs worked out gotta figure these radios out and we'll make sure we got brakes when we go in the corner so uh we're off work today but we got a lot of work ahead of us so y'all uh hang out and let's see how it goes fred super gluing her shoes back together crazy story on these shoes here good buddy 
Eric Wallace works for a NASCAR team many years ago. If I remember right, the story was a NASCAR driver, David Reagan, they didn't fit his feet. So he threw them in the trash and uh, Eric found them and they didn't work for him either. So he asked me if I wanted them and shoot, they work. They've been working for many years, but uh, they busted up last race. So super glue working for you. Yeah. Hopefully. Helicopter. Tell them, hey. Let's see if this does the trick or not. What you got there for you? Oh, feature winner sticker. Yeah, we won the last race at Greenville last year here. We still haven't put the sticker on. We'll get the sticker put on now. Getting back to my uh, thing I like so much of racer support and racers. I got a Cody Connor shirt on today. Super late model racer from the Carolina region. Uh, he's going up to, uh, I think it's Winchester Speedway, Winchester, Indiana for the Flyover States 150 next Wednesday. So uh, best of luck to him. And I had quite a few people ask about the helmet we got. I've always been a real big country music fan and a real big Conway Twitty fan. I guess some people seen it just watching the videos, but uh, Brian Morgan out of uh, up this way, Greenville, South Carolina, he uh, airbrushed it. Done a phenomenal job on it. It even says, uh, hello darling on the top of it. So check out uh, Brian Morgan, uh, BKPR. Went out for a leak check just to see if the carburetor was going to leak gas or whatnot, make sure the brakes was going to work, see if radios was going to work before we really got on the gas pedal. And everything seemed to work. We got a brake pedal now. And uh, other than it just being, I don't know, almost like the, the, the pedal's not sticking. But uh, taking a look now, at least there ain't no gas leaking. And uh, we got brakes, and I can hear him on the radio for once. So uh, we're going to uh, make a few adjustments, and then we'll go back out again. Everything good, Fred? No leaks, no leaks, brakes work. I dialed a little bit more front brake that time just to make sure that I have brakes when I got to the corner. So well, we'll toss the hood back on and go again. Sound good to you? Yep. I can hear you that time. That's a change. You're gonna have to hold your button longer. Oh, okay.
down by the skill. Yeah. Do you hear it? Or can you... No, I can feel it in the gas. Like it just almost like it falls on its face after the finish start finish line. No, we'll, we'll give it a little cool down. Give a plug check and see. Something okay. minor. Yeah. Just keep it while we go. Well, we got brakes and the radios work. So yeah. two out of three ain't bad so far. And it ain't leaking gas, so two and a half out of three. So much for a GoPro there, you might have saved us a GoPro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just stand on your tippy toes, that way they can't see you. That door's lifted. That was a whole lot better. I mean, world daylight better. But, uh, so I think we've accomplished everything we did. Radio still crack a little bit, but, uh, I mean, at least I can hear it this time. So, uh, carburetor works good. Brakes work real good. So, uh, we're a happy man. Uh, so I guess we're just gonna go ahead and, and uh, get loaded up now, unless Fred wants to go make him a little putt putt lap. Fix one thing, or we, well, we fixed three things, but we broke another thing. Our tachometer done. She's just hanging out at five, so. Picture of my family always from a wedding. I always get to keep that in mind when you make good decisions or bad decisions on the racetrack. So what we're gonna do about a tachometer, Fred? You gonna give it a slap or we're gonna get us another one? That answers that question. Now, gorilla glue didn't work. It's been a good ride, Puma shoes, but Fred gonna make a couple laps. Take your phone off and get your janitor keys off your side. Ain't got your janitor keys with you. I'll give you the helmet. Take right. your leg up. I'll put the spotter on. I'll be your spotter. That way you can see what it sounds like in there. Ducky head. 
Fred, duck your head, Fred. Uh, Fred said, I can't see. I said, I got you a cushion right here. We use these grease rags or something. Put them down in there and sit on it like a library book, phone book. That way you can see. Up a daisy. How about now? Can you see? <laughs> Hit your head. Yep, my There goes your hair. Put Conway on. Yeah, I know. It's like having your head in a bucket. Because I got a big head and you don't. Go. Put your bifocals on. Fred said, I can't hear, I can't hear. I said, I don't know. I haven't plugged it up. Said, I was fired as a crew chief. Let me get you hooked up. Marty Ward here to get a little practice in. Mighty fine looking like model. Blazing speed. You done good, Fred. You done real good. You know what good. you're talking about because you can hear all that static, static in there. Like you, you done good. Like you need tape. Oh, yeah. Even with ears. tape. Oh, man. Or you need the, the ones that fits in your ear. Well, we're going to go ahead and get loaded up here. I'm pretty happy. Fred, you happy? Yep. Got two and a half out of three. Still got a little static. We'll see if we can't get that figured out. But uh, that carburetor was a humping and a bumping. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and get loaded up and uh, head on down the road. We got the trailer loaded halfway up. I said, this would be a good angle to put some gas in it before we take it over to Jimmy Gorman's, ace in the hole to get it uh, scaled out everything ready for uh, wherever we decide to go next weekend figure we just go ahead and get Green it filled up hickory you gotta weigh the same or? go ahead and give it a good drain it's like gold you holding there this week fred it's like a two before from walmart from home depot i think gas a little bit more i'd probably get you wanted, the for this four gallon of gas yeah you reckon yeah, last little bit. She filled up. Ready to head off to Ace in the Hole. Get scaled out and set up. Where are you going to go next week, Fred? Tri-County? Hickory? If you had to pick your poison, where you want to go? Hickory, I guess. Hickory? Hickory, Dickory, Doc? Okay. For the ones of you wondering uh, why we're not racing tomorrow night, I actually uh, am in a wedding tomorrow night. The people ask me... Uh, to be in the wedding back way before racing season starts. So uh, I told him I would, and I'm real big on uh, doing something when I say I'm doing something. So uh, at least we was able to go fast today. And uh, best of luck to everybody that is racing this weekend. But but I will, uh, we'll be in a wedding tomorrow night. So uh, that's why we're not racing. But for what it's worth, I sure do wish I'd have had this two barrel to race here at Greenville Pickens instead of that four barrel we was using. Thing drives so good. There you are, Fred. You and Marty Ward back there together. Well, we'll be signing off from uh, Greenville Pickens Speedway. We're pretty happy. We don't know uh, where we want to go next week. We're uh, still undecided. May go to Hickory. May go to Tri-County. But uh, y'all let us know in the comments below where you'd like us to go. So uh, Tri-County's big and fast. Hickory small and fast. Uh, both of them would, uh, would be very nice to go to. So uh, y'all let us know in the comments below. Fred, where you want to go still? To Hickory? Don't matter to we'll you. Figure. figure it out. Let them figure it out. Let them figure it out. Fred said, y'all comment below. Let us know where y'all want us to go. But uh, hit them with it, Fred. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll catch y'all next time.